there is a tool that can help you come up with a great high view count video idea for your YouTube channel. And the best part is you can use it totally free. So uh, yeah, I got you. You just blew my mind. Choosing a good video topic comes down to three main factors. Inspiration, demand, and discoverability. We'll go in depth in these three things in a second, but I've also built a checklist that you can download in the description so you can follow along and make sure that you hit all of these on each of your new uploads. I used to just guess these. I was like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And a uh, fun fact, I didn't. So when that failed, I looked for a tool that would help me. And I found this thing called vidIQ. There's another tool called TubeBuddy that does sort of the same thing. Either of them will work, but vidIQ is a lot better in my opinion. And since they're both free, I always recommend the vidIQ. Anyway, every one of my recent videos that I've used this on has gone VFM, which means viral for me. So I'm confident in saying that it, it works, obviously. Here's how I use it at each of the three steps of topic generation. Inspiration. Inspiration is really just having the actual motivation and desire to make a video about the specific topic. If you don't have this, even if your other two topics are like completely bang on, the video is gonna suck because you don't have your heart in it. And trust me, man, the entire creation process of that video is gonna be horrible. It will be torture. I'll have whole sessions where I go for a walk or I'm lying on my bed and I just try to think of good ideas that I'm psyched about. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and I just get a mental block. And that is where vidIQ comes in to help. They have an AI that connects to your channel and can give you personalized video topic ideas based on the type of content you create and what has performed well for your channel in the past. I don't always use these ideas word for word, but it always helps to get the ball rolling creatively so that I can move on to step number two, which is analyzing the topic's demand or view potential. Demand and discoverability are pretty much linked together. The most creative video in the entire world is not gonna get any views if nobody wants to watch it or nobody's looking for it. This is where I was totally just kind of guessing before, and I think this is the area where vidIQ has massively improved my views. The vidIQ extension has this thing called Keyword Inspector, which takes that topic that you put into it and it searches all of YouTube and the internet to find how many people have looked for that topic recently and how many previously existing videos already cover the topic. In the end, it'll combine those two stats and give you a vidIQ score for SEO, which is search engine optimization, letting you know whether that video idea actually has potential to perform well on YouTube. Having the actual stats for this is an absolute game changer because here's the thing, most people think the same. You're a sheep, sir. That means if I have a video idea, a bunch of other people probably have already too. So even if it gets a lot of search demand, since the competition is so high, my video will probably not end up breaking through all of the noise. The Keyword Inspector weeds out all of these video topics that are either too contested or there's just not a high enough demand. So when you find a video with that good view potential, you can actually go ahead and create it and just scrap all of the other ones. It saves so much wasted time. I try to aim for a vidIQ score of at least 60 for a video that I might be able to make and might perform well. You might be smart enough or lucky enough to come up with these ideas just on your own and never really have to go much further than that. But once you pull up your first idea, you can look through the related keywords and then just sort of start climbing the ladder. If your original keyword is 61, find one that's 65 or 67, click on that one. See through their related keywords, see which one's higher on that. Here I found one that's Ulanzi. I've never heard of Ulanzi before, but it's got a lot of search traffic right now, and there's very low competition, which means it might be a very good video to do. So I'm gonna do my research, and I might make a video about that, because look, now we're in the 70s, and you're getting really, really good keywords here. That's how this tool has helped me come up with much better video topics to get more views. I highly recommend it. Ironically, I haven't checked this video topic with the keyword inspector. Hmm, well, We'll see how it does. If you want to learn even more about vidIQ, there's more to it than just the video ideas thing. I've done a full like in-depth review and you can check it out over there.